to be Pocahontas or not to be Pocahontas? That seems to be the question, and it's a question that, uh, of all people, Elizabeth Warren seems to be wanting to dive into by virtue of the fact that she released a DNA test that she took, which whatever it may or may not prove on the genetic front, it definitely proves that Donald Trump is totally in her head. And so that's something we ought to know. But I think another thing is we're, we're absorbing the news here today that uh, according to a recently re released DNA test, Elizabeth Warren may have some genetic answer, genetic link to Native Americans, you know, in her ancestry, possibly as she claimed, though that looks less and less likely the more you, you we learn about the test. I, I think it's interesting to note out of the gate that you've got this clear obsession, as is the case with identity politics people, right? Social justice warrior, cultural Marxist, leftist, identity politics driven people are obsessed about, on the one hand, genetic realities like I, she, 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 want, she would want, of course, full credit for being a woman. Okay. And she's claimed full credit for being, uh, you know, of, of Native American descent. Okay. These things are important to these people and it's based on genetics. And then at the same time, they're telling us on the other hand, you know, you can just identify as whoever or whatever you want to be. They think these people believe and will treat you like a lunatic, like a Neanderthal. Uh, if you don't agree, they believe that Bruce Jenner is a woman. And at the same time, they obsess over these genetic, objective, physical realities. It's amazing to behold. And so the latest installment here of uh, leftist insanity unfolding before our eyes has to do with Pocahontas, uh, Elizabeth Warren, releasing this report. And then I, I thought there was an interesting article, though, posted at uh, Zero Hedge that I wanted to share along these lines. And that story is entitled, Math Correction, quote-unquote, confirms Warren could be actually one 1,024th Native American. What? That's less than 1%, people. Less than 1%. And this is the update uh, in the article. Just hours after Elizabeth Warren uh, waived her newly minted credentials as a Native American. And again, remember, credentials as a Native American, when all she had to do, based on her own worldview and the worldview of her own insane political party... Just declare it. Just identify as Pocahontas or whatever other Native American you want to be. Or uh, just say it. That <laughs> Why go to the trouble of a DNA test when half of your people are vocally and proudly uh, opposing the idea that the genetic realities, that actual physical, objective, scientific reality doesn't matter? So anyway, she has these newly minted credentials as a Native American. So just hours after Elizabeth Warren waived her newly minted credentials as a Native American and demanded Trump pay up on his offer, the Globe issued a correction that might just steal the jam out of her exuberant donut. The correction is uh, described here, and, and it's printed in the original story now. Due to a math error, and now we should also pause here to note that math is hard, and it's apparently harder for women, so let's just keep that in mind. Actual women. Due to a math error... A story about Elizabeth Warren misstated the ancestry percentage of a potential 10th generation relative. It should have been 1 1,204th. 1 in, of 1,024. That's what it should have been. Then the, the article here goes on to report, as the Globe sheepishly, sheepishly admits, quote, the inherent imprecision of the six-page DNA analysis could provide fodder for Warren's critics. <laughs> Indeed, it might. So here we are, where the, the threshold, apparently, for 100% legitimacy as a Native American, as claiming a Native American ancestry, is to have what could well be a, a 1 1,024th Native American blood or background or ancestry. That's where we're at. And so, again, that's hysterical. That's amazing. That's funny. But it, it's amplified exponentially when you consider the fact that these same people, the same people who are going to through these hoops, these contortions to come up with this DNA test that says this about them scientifically, genetically, that they, they, they go through all this trouble and want to wave this in our faces. These are the same people who, who say Bruce Jenner is a woman and that if you don't agree with that, you're evil. 
you're racist, sexist, blankophobic, you're a Neanderthal, you need to be dealt with, violence against you is acceptable because you're a garbage human and blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on. So the insanity of this all, the comical insanity, and don't miss the humor here. And not only is it okay to laugh, it's important to laugh. These people are crazy, they're destructive, they're evil, they're hypocritical, they're, they're all the things that they project onto others and, and claim others to be um, their opponents, those that they view as the, the greatest threats. But they, And they do it in such a dramatically disconnected from reality fashion, such a flagrantly contradictory manner, that it's hysterical. It's funny. It's enjoyable. And it's it can be particularly enjoyable to us because the more they do it now in this day and age of technology and shared information through channels that they don't control – more and more of the world sees it more and more clearly with each and every idiotic installment that we get of this kind of garbage. So Pocahontas, while, while places like uh, the Boston Globe here in this article, they're trying to, to act as though the Pocahontas thing is dealt with effectively and now on to other things. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's as delusional <laughs> as, as the claim that a 1-1024th potential ancestry makes you a legit uh uh, uh, you legitimate in your claim to being a Native American descendant. I mean, come on. What what does this? What would this standard mean if it was applied to everyone equally? What could you claim as a way of uh, association, by way of association with oppressed minorities from the SJW perspective? One, 1,024th. Come on. And then... Again, can't get past it. I keep coming back, and it, it just gets funnier every time. All at the same time, while they're obsessing over these numbers, and this is proof of the legitimacy of her claim, well, she could have just self-identified as an American, a Native American, and that would be that from her own wacky worldview perspective. So keep all these things in mind. Enjoy the ride as we go. If you enjoy videos like this, please sub subscribe to the channel, share the video, like the video, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, it, it, we're watching the unraveling of an entire worldview, and we should appreciate and enjoy uh, the comedic ride as they circle the drain. If you appreciated this video and you want to support what we're doing, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we post a new video, which we're hoping to do regularly on a daily basis from here on out on this subject and related subjects. Thank you very much for your support. Without it, we can't continue to do this.